All right, so in this problem, we are given a formula, and we want to see which of the following options is true for this formula. Now, we know that the value of q equals r divided by 2, and if we want to know what the value of r is, we can multiply 2 on both sides, and we get r to equal 2q. All right, so let's read option A. The difference between the values of r and q diminishes for greater positive values of q. So the difference between the values r and q, if we plug in 2q instead of r, just like we found above, we have 2q minus q, and we are left with 1q. And because the difference equals q, therefore, the greater positive values of q doesn't necessarily grow or diminish, and therefore, option A is eliminated. All right, so now let's look at option B. The difference between the values of r and q is constant. Now, just like we saw above, the difference between r and q gives us q. And because q is a variable and not a constant number, b is eliminated. All right, now let's take a look at option c. For positive values, the difference between q and 0, so the difference between q and 0, is less than the, is less than the difference between r and 0. All right, so now let's take a look. We know that q minus 0 gives us q, and we know that q equals r divided by 2. And now let's take a look at r minus 0, and we are left with r. So the difference between q minus 0 is less than the difference between r and 0, because here we have r divided by 2, which is half of r, and here we have a full r. And therefore, c is going to be the correct answer. And let's quickly take a look why d is incorrect. For the positive values, the difference between q and 0 is greater than the difference between r and 0. So this answer is exactly opposite to answer c, and therefore will be incorrect because the difference between q minus 0 is less than the difference between r minus 0. Alright, so c is our final answer.